A swan song for a heavy lift rocket from the Cape tomorrow. Delta rockets are a familiar sight on the Space Coast, of course, with early versions dating back to the 1960s. Our Space Coast Bureau Chief Scott Heidler joins us live on the Delta legacy and what we can expect for tomorrow. Scott. Yeah, ULA as well as the Delta IV Heavy launch teams tracking no issues right now ahead of this launch. Again, this is the last one for the Delta series of rockets. It has a legacy that dates back to the early days of American spaceflight. A big send off for one large rocket. We've always seen Delta rockets flying from the Florida Space Coast uh, since the, really the beginning of the space age. United Launch Alliance's Delta IV Heavy going for a second try after a mechanical scrub on March 28th. This is the final launch for the Delta line of rockets over six decades of service. And this mission, like most of the Delta missions, carrying national security surveillance payloads. But there have been NASA missions too. You know, the legacy we hope for Delta is one of service. You know, this really is your rocket. It has done great service for our nation. Its other missions have done tremendous service for exploration and science. That's how I want Delta to be remembered. It's why we do the work we do. Always a spectacular launch thanks to 2.1 million pounds of thrust and an interesting quirk at launch, making it look like the rocket is on fire. To me, it is kind of sad. It's kind of like, you know, when the sh not, not to that extreme, but when the shuttle retired, uh, uh, and, and then it was gone, and it's just kind of marks a new uh, a new page in the book, I guess. Closing the Delta chapter, looking good. 90% go for weather for the launch time tomorrow at 12.53 p.m. And also, they're really not tracking any technical issues now. Many here hoping that holds overnight. Reporting live in the Space Coast, Scott Heidler, West 2 News.